Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you why some General Motors active fuel management engines from 07 and up consume oil. <clears throat> now, I'm also going to show you how to repair it. Here is the issue. The valve cover in the front, the old one, you can see the hole that I'm about to point to right there is for the positive crankcase ventilation. That is the hole in the updated valve cover. I'm going to rotate it upwards here in a second to get rid of some of that reflection and you're going to be able to see that the updated valve cover not only has the hole moved closer to the front but they've also put a small wing on either side of the hole to divert oil away from it. The issue is when these engines go into active fuel management mode cylinders 1, 7, and 6 shut down by closing off the fuel injectors and bypassing the oil that should go to the lifters and when it bypasses the discharge blows it against the bottom sprays it up against the bottom of the valve cover now where cylinder one discharges on the non-updated valve cover it is directly into the hole for the positive crankcase ventilation system now they did have a little bit of a drain back designed into the baffle. The only problem is, as these engines get a little bit older, they start getting some carbon buildup in the PCV valve, which is also built into the valve cover. It is non-replaceable without replacing the whole valve cover. The wouldn't close all the way, and the vacuum from the intake would pull some of that oil into the intake. The more oil it pulled in, the more buildup you got, the worse your problem got. Now, cylinder number seven was the spark plug that I showed you just a minute ago, and there was a great deal of carbon buildup on that. That is because a lot of the oil that gets sucked into the intake goes into cylinder seven. Now, this repair is actually very simple. It took me about 15 minutes from start to finish. I just happened to forget to turn the camera on for the teardown. So you're getting to see the reassembly. There are nine bolts you have to take out to perform this repair. Remove the top plastic engine cover. Remove the four spark plug wires on the driver's side. Remove them from the coil packs. There's that white plug that is dead center above my hands. You have to unplug. That is the only plug-in you have to take loose, and you take the PCV tube off the very rear of that valve cover. Once you've done that, there are five 10 millimeter bolts with a little stud on top that hold the coil pack bracket to the valve cover. It goes off, there are four 8 millimeter bolts, well, excuse me, 8 millimeter heads, it's, uh, I believe a 6 millimeter, that holds the valve cover down. Close off, valve cover off. The updated valve covers come with a new gasket. You should be able to get them from any auto parts store. Just tell them that uh, you need the, you know, the updated valve cover to fix the oil consumption issue, and they should be able to find what you're talking about. If they can't, drop me a link or drop me a uh, question in the comment section, and I will try and post the number for it. I don't happen to have it with me. I'm at home right now. Anyway, uh, like I said, they're really simple repair. You're seeing the reassembly right now. But that is really all it takes to fix the oil consumption problem. Now, on these engines, GM was, has been telling people for years that two quarts between oil changes, you know, that it consumes is normal. I'm sorry, this. These vehicles that have less than 200,000 miles on them that use two quarts or more between oil changes have an issue. So, you know, quick, simple fix. The valve cover is a little bit expensive, but here again, something you can definitely do with some basic hand tools. So, guys, I hope you liked the video. I hope it helps you out. If you have any questions, again, drop them in the comments section, and I will try my best to get back to you as quickly as possible and get them answered. Uh, while you're here, do me a favor. Click the thumbs up, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. That way you can catch more of these upcoming videos as soon as they come out. Um, 
if you have any questions or maybe an idea for a video you'd like to see drop it down in the uh, comment section and if I get the chance I will possibly shoot the video and if I can see who left me the idea I just might send you something you never know so guys hope have a good day don't forget get out there and get your hands dirty